Welcome to Heidi Trask High School's 2019-2020 National Honor Society Virtual Inductions. We have asked our 2020 senior leadership team to help us with the components of our induction ceremony. Ana E. Paz will start with welcoming you all. Welcome to the Heidi Trask High School's 2019-20 National Honor Society Virtual Inductions. Hello, my name is Ana E. Paz, and today I'm going to share with you what being a part of National Honor Society is all about and share some tips that I learned here at Hattie Trask High School. To start off, I want to congratulate you all on all your hard work and achievements. You have worked so hard to earn your spot here, and we can all agree about that. We are so proud of you. Please applaud these inductees as they move forward with their achievements. Thank you. But you are not done yet. Keep your head above it all. And like one of my favorite quotes by Livingston, the sky is not the limit. It is only the beginning. Lift off. I encourage you to use this platform as a way to improve yourself and work even harder through your last few years of high school. It might be tough. Staying up late doing your work, studying hard for your biology test, or even writing your paper the night before it is due, which I do not recommend. You are smart, you are capable. As one of the council members for the National Honor Society, I can say that being a part of NHS is a very formal, yet fun way to engage in the community. Not only are we challenged every month to complete our service hours, we learn the importance of helping others and applying ourselves to the world around us. We learn about the importance of the four pillars of National Honor Society, which are character, scholarship, leadership, and service. While the school year is not what we expected at all, it has come to a close. But I did want to take this time to address my thoughts and words of encouragement as you all grow as intelligent individuals. I'm grateful for this opportunity and the memories at Trask, and I hope that you will make the best of it. Thank you for your time, and remember to wash your hands. Thank you to Ana E for that welcome. At a typical National Honor Society induction, we have a table set up on the stage with the center candle representing the whole of National Honor Society, and then we light a candle for each of the four pillars. The inductees would normally verbally recite the National Honor Society pledge seen here, but during this unusual time, they have all made this pledge electronically. Rebecca Hernandez will now start with our first pillar of character. So one candle is now lit for character. Yami Coronel Martinez will explain our second pillar of scholarship. Scholarship. Scholarship is characterized by the commitment to learning, a student that's willing to spend the necessary time to cultivate his or her mind in the quest for knowledge. This pillar can only be achieved through the diligence and effort. Scholarship always means doing the best work possible, regardless of the impending reward. Our third pillar of leadership will be defined by Lauren Reif. Leadership. Leaders take the initiative to aid others in a wholesome manner throughout their daily activities. Leaders sacrifice their personal interest in order to yield the needs of others. Leaders need wisdom and self-confidence to affect change in all aspects of their lives. Some examples of leadership can include, but are not limited to, leading group activities in the classroom and in the community, being an officer in a club, being primary chair or drum major in the band or orchestra, or being the captain of a sports team. So we have three of our four pillars now lit. So the final pillar of National Honor Society is service, which is exemplified for us by Jordan Scholler. 
service. Service can be demonstrated in a variety of ways. The willingness to work for the benefit of those in need without compensation or recognition of any kind is a quality that is essential in NHS members. As a service club, the National Honor Society is highly concerned of giving its all to the school and the community at large. So those are all four of your pillars of National Honor Society that we will expect all of our new inductees to uphold to the highest standards as they continue on their high school careers. So thank you to all of our new inductees for electronically committing to the National Honor Society pledge and agreeing to uphold these ideals. At this time, I declare the following students are formally inducted into the 19th class of the Heidi Trask High School Chapter of the National Honor Society. So congratulations to our 2020 inductees, who are Naya Mike Andrews, also known as Naya, Tanner Blackburn, Anjali Chartier, Juan Carlos Hernandez Hernandez, Emily House, Jonathan Ivey, Lacey Jane, Courtney Johnson, Megan Leonard, Willow Nixon, Julia Plunk, Stephanie Romero Gradarama, Zabia Shepard, Christy Thompson, Ulyssa Torres, Shanicia Walker, and Madeline White. Congratulations. We would like to say a special thank you to the Heidi Trask administrative team, Mr. Taylor, Mrs. Aiken, and Mr. Matthews for their continued support of National Honor Society and all of these students. We would also like to thank the 2019-2020 leadership team of Ana E. Paz, Rebecca Hernandez, Yami Coronel Martinez, Lauren Reif, and Jordan Scholler for their leadership and help throughout the year and with this virtual induction ceremony. We know that you ladies will experience much success throughout your future endeavors, and we cannot wait to see where life takes you. And also thank you to Ms. Dietzen and Ms. Comer for taking and providing us with the pictures for this ceremony, and to Ms. Jeffcoat for organizing the live streaming of this event on our Heidi Trask social media platforms. So congratulations again to the 2020 inductees, and we look forward to working with you in the 2020-2021 school year.